So guys, this is our Independence Day special, October 1st. The new item or the old item? The new, the new one. No, the old one. The old one. I don't know the new one. The old one. Is this the new one? Uh, uh, rise, oh, come back. I'm just going to be violent. Oh, yeah, just yeah, jump yeah, for yeah. us. Nigerians call over. This is where Lagos meets London. Where Pepham boys chill in Ushapa, London. As Muritala Mohammed, Heathrow is on his is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Coast. This is where Lagos meets London. What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Lagos Meets London. It's your boy OJ, and of course, not Simpson. And it's your favorite girl, Missy Alice. Ooh. Guys, today we were adding, we have another addition. We have a new host. Her name is Nate. She's created yes. me like a thousand times. Thank for. you. It's time for me to get it right. Um, Nate, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, not really. I mean, hi guys. My name is Nate and I'm one of the new hosts. Tell us a bit about yourself. Let's get to know you a little bit. <laughs> I know it's on the spot. <laughs> um, so I'm a model, PR rep, and a chef. Oh, that, that Niger food. Know. Oh, of course, that has to be number one. Yeah, no. Niger food. So one. we should be. Accepted. It's a mixture, but obviously Nigerian food is like. Okay, so, so what's next your what's episode? What's... You're bringing Fiji. Fiji in the rest yeah. of the. Fiji's paying. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> they call us the food podcast. We we like food here. Yeah, we that someone has even said I should stop eating puff puff. So what's your favorite food to make? Really? Yeah. Puff puff is that's a bit random. What do you really we eat always, puff puff yeah, a lot? Yeah, puff puff. No, nah, like yeah. Oh oh, I'm <laughs> for like specific like you. No 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 on the podcast. Um, um, my favorite thing currently actually my favorite thing to make is eggsy because I love it with pounded jam. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it's. Did you guys see that video where the girl was eating Amala in the morning, early in the morning? She says, this is, this is what she's you? eating before work. Yeah. Wow. I mean, As, they do in Nigeria, so why can we not do it here? Yeah. I'm just saying, somebody... That, For that, breakfast, that's what we were having in Nigeria every time. <laughs> At when, least when a I, week straight. I'm I had Lagos, Amala for breakfast. I I go to Yakoyo. Yeah, Amala well, Sky for breakfast. No, no, it doesn't matter. Well, if I have leftover from the night, but for best believe, I'm gonna eat it if I'm. But hungry. what's the difference with like being in Nigeria or being here yeah. and having what you want? It, breakfast time is breakfast time. It doesn't matter about holiday. That's no. That's very low vibration of food to be having in the morning. You won't be productive. No, it's day. gonna give you energy actually. No? Somebody said you go to bed just straight. Guys, I'm a, not really with Amala though. No, Amala is soft. Yeah, pounded jam you're getting. Yeah. Locked. Yeah. Okay. I think what she was eating was pounded yam. Oh, okay. No, okay, that's a bit worrying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you were saying. That there's no way once you finish eating that you're going to. Yeah. Sleep no, straight. not pounded jam in the morning. No, no, no. That's scary. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, please follow us on all socials. And yeah, we'll pin Naya's Instagram. Nay. Nay. <laughs> I've made a mistake again. I'm screaming. Nay. We'll pin Nay. Uh, Instagram and do on top of us. So you guys, please follow. I get to know, get familiar with like our new white host. Teachers that always have to get corrected for saying the black student's name. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I think I'm <laughs> pronouncing it correctly, like. but it's you're not the pronunciation. It's, I'm just you know getting what it wrong. Is, yeah? You know what? What people said to me? Why they get it? It's you're the not the only one. Day. Yeah. So yeah, people it's think the A the A, the A, A, but yeah. it's like so. Then what's my what? What would you say my last name is? So it's when you look at it properly no, that, so it's that you know nay. It's nay. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. So guys, this is our Independence Day special, October 1st. Uh, this will be out on the 1st of October. We've been patriotic. We've been Nigerian. And yeah, we're here to celebrate Independence Day in our only two way. I have a fact that I just wanted to share with you guys. A ran not a random fact, but a fact that just um that ties both places together. So, um, do you guys know that when the Naira was introduced in 1973, it was the exchange value to the pound was two Naira to a pound. That's insane. That's crazy. Yeah. And now it's like 2,200. 2, That's how Is it 2,200? Yeah. 2, oh, last time I checked, it was like 2,001 something. I checked That's it today. Crazy. Like 2,200. Yeah. Let me go to my 2,275. <laughs> let me go and convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lemf, okay. Uh, yeah, no free promo though. 2000, that's why I didn't say the name. <laughs> 2,275. That's it. Uh, yeah, so that's... So what do you guys like about being Nigerian? You should start because you're new. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you. I was looking at her. Go nah, on. Let me. Um, I help you. Being the life of the party, being that person that like you can always tell that there's a Nigerian in the room. But do you not feel like sometimes it's perceived as a bad thing? That's your problem. You don't you don't get offended by that. I mean, that is your. If you see it as a bad thing, then you, yeah. I, you see me as a threat, and that's your problem. Right. I'm being me. Mm -hmm. It's just like all these other stereotypes that black people in general will get. That's yeah. a them problem. Yeah. I just I also like that we're just vibes, like energy people. Yeah. Like both here and Nigeria, yeah. it's just you could be going through something in life. They're going through a lot in Nigeria right now. But, but when I went there, they people are partying. People I think are we just on the streets dancing, like you know, they just we find ways to give ourselves joy. Yeah. Otherwise you'd go cry. <laughs> so You would, you would, you would. Um we're beautiful. Hundred yeah, percent. We are like the. I Soft don't even care. I said it. I said what I said. We are the best looking people <laughs> from Africa. Amen. The best looking black people in Africa. <laughs> I'll say the old world though. Especially Yoruba. Mm. Amen to that. <laughs> that one, yeah. I hear yeah. that. Yeah, and we're intelligent. Sorry, I can't forget that. Yeah. We're in We're resourceful. We're adaptable. Nigerians can make yeah. one pound into one thousand pound in yeah. like this. Yeah. And it's crazy. Everything is business idea. Business, yeah. business, business, business. I love that. We yeah. don't we don't lack. Yeah. Nigeria the kind I like of that best. we're very resilient too, like mm. regardless of whatever like a Nigerian will thrive in almost any situation. Yeah. A mm -hmm. Nigerian will thrive. You will find a Nigerian in every part of the world. They've said one in ten people that you meet is Nigerian. That's crazy. That, really? Is that, that is an mad. actual Yeah. No, someone someone I think I can't remember who told me, but apparently it's one fact or something. One in ten black person that you meet is, is Nigerian. Nigerian. Is That's that crazy. in the whole world or just in the UK? No, no, no. Everywhere. We're ev we're in every country. That's There's what I'm no saying. country that you will not find. You will a Nigerian. find a Nigerian. Okay, so everywhere. if say if you go to somewhere like oh, that's true though. If you go to like Japan, you will and see you a find ten what? black people. I know you find Nigerians. Nigerians. are a lot in Asia. Even. No, no, I what? know that. I know they're a lot. But I'm saying if you count the ten black people that I you find in Japan, China. the one what? of them asked yeah. to be Nigerian. I, I, I went yeah. to China and I met a Nigerian in China. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. My dad goes to China a lot. That's, exactly. So it's like we're everywhere. Yeah, that's that's that seems to, that's there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, one in ten black people. That that's a fun what, fact. What do you like about being Nigerian? That's just said. We're very re resilient and Nigerian. Not we personalize it. What do you like? like what do I like about, about, about you? Oh, about you. Being, about me being, being Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the banter for me. Like just being. Do you able think you're to... funny? I think <laughs> I'm funny. No, no. <laughs> it's I the think... way you are. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not. That is. That it's came fun. out harsher than it. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I the tone, the tone wasn't soft enough. But I do think I'm funny. Yeah, if not. I wouldn't force myself to say, oh, I'm the funny, funny boy. If there's like an avenue for us to like banter. So between like your friendship group, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're the clown. I'm not, yeah, I'll say I'm the clown. I'm the one that make, pe make people laugh the most. Really? Yeah. Really? Even when I was in school. <laughs> yeah, probably like some people like, if I'm, if I'm amongst my friends, that like, yeah, then I make them laugh a lot. We need to start seeing that side then. Oh, you mean, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, too serious, man. Sometimes. Why? So, you don't take life too serious. No, nah, so, I mean sometimes. No, yeah. no, at all. So yeah, I was I would like I was like we we're saying, um, I mean for you guys, you guys have spent um half of over half of your life in the UK. Do you guys struggle not struggle with identity, but sometimes you feel like do you see yourself as like black Brits or you see yourself like um Nigerian? How, how long have you been here? Quite a while. Over a decade. Like, how old were you? I was 11. Oh, okay, so you've been here for a while. I mean, I would say at first, I struggled with my identity because I was, I neither fitted here nor there, especially the first time I went back to Nigeria. But now, I think I've just found, a, because being black and Nigerian, in the UK right now, it's cool. Yeah, that's why I was. Mm. It's gonna... cool. So it's a I trend. Guess <laughs> it's now trending. Like mm. so, I guess 
I'm now in my full form. Mm -hmm. So like I'm allowed to really be myself now. Not that I, well, actually, no, I had to like, you know, when you go to certain rooms, you have to like wear a mask. And not be your full self and not be the full Nigerian that you know you can be. I would say mainly at work. Yeah, yeah especially at work where being yourself, <clears throat> you have to wear a mask and not really be your full self because, you know, it's too much or too loud. Or, But I think nowadays, like, everyone's listening to Afrobeats now. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now I can listen to Afrobeats at work. And I mean, I don't play out loud, but, mm. you know, yeah, I guess like over time, I think it's progressed over time that I'm now okay. Like, I don't struggle with being a black British. Mm. Yeah. So would you say, sorry, would you say if that resurgence of what's happening right now, like everyone's just acceptance of everything, Mm Afrobeats, you can speak as Nigerian. Not just even Afrobeats, like the food, the culture, everything. everything. If that resurgence didn't happen, do you think you'd be as comfortable as you are? I have no choice. Mm. I feel like I have to kind of just, I've, had to adapt because going back to Nigeria is not an option for me. Mm. I mean, I mean, it's an option, but I don't want it. It's not something really? I would do. I would never move back to Nigeria. Oh, okay. Sorry. The, please, I pray this Nigeria doesn't it. happen no, to you. No, but she spent three months in Nigeria. So four. Nearly you know, four. You see, so. during, I mean, COVID, I, during COVID, I was there for like six months. I could live there for that long, but no. to stay there forever, I could And like never it. come back? And never come no, back. No, no, no. I would... Um, I would go like, let's say six, seven months in Nigeria, come back mm. here three months or so. I want to do what my parents are doing. Like, what are they doing? They go back and forth, but it's like whenever they feel like coming here, they, it's, they've got the option to come here. Yeah. But once my mom is tired, packing her bags, she's gone back to Nigeria. That's the option that I want for myself as well. Because this place, at the same time as I'm saying that, like, yeah, there's so much opportunities and stuff. And, yeah. But there's no other place than home. Like mm. this place sometimes does like it does your head in mm. you'll be creating different problems for yourself that when you go to Nigeria half of that problems can actually just like it won't go away but you'll feel a little bit more relieved, relieved. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. true that's why I always say I come alive when I go to Nigeria it's not yeah. negotiable for yeah. me to go yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I let my hair down you're on holiday though yeah I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. that's your reality, because I don't think I, no, you're yeah. gonna come alive. That's, that's why I had to take. That's why I had to spend like months there to realize that okay, you're not on holiday anymore. Now imagine yourself living like there. Making, if I was there for like money. two, three weeks or whatever, I'm gonna see it as a holiday. But I was there for. I bought a one way ticket where I said to myself, "You don't know when you're coming back." So. I had to mentally channel myself like if I was living here. So this is what I'd be doing. This is where I'd be going. This is what I have to do. Mm. This. And that's how I'm like slowly trying to get myself. I don't mind going back to Nigeria. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't leave in Nigeria. You can't though, pay because... me. You can leave in Nigeria. <laughs> now, because... No, right depends, now. Okay, wait, right if, now it's a bit techy. If, if Lagos Smith Unless London you've... gets sorry, if Lagos Smith London gets big, would you like leave? Like you're making money off of what we do here. Would you think of living there? Like people, yeah, even I brands in Nigeria, they're paying I us. I would. The money has to mm. make sense because mm. I need m- money to be comfortable. <laughs> like for me, I've always just said, find me a fine man. Give me good money. There's as in like, fine men in Nigeria. All I'm looking for is give me a work from home job here like I was that, doing in COVID. Yeah. And I'll be doing it in Nigeria. You'll be doing it from that. Yeah. That's that what I was doing during COVID. That's why I stayed. That's why I stayed. I could live in Nigeria, but I just can't. Why? Because, uh, you have work from much. home. Give me a job then. No thanks, uh, love. <laughs> no thanks, love. <laughs> yeah, apparently there a lot much. of Nigerians are doing that. Not, yeah, not a lot yeah. of Nigerians, a lot of like Brits, black Brits, they'll get nice work, work from, from home. Anglo. You're earning in pounds and they're just living in Nigeria. Rent is like how much per year? Yeah. Get a nice service department. You know? You know? Or For even if you have a house here and you're renting it out, you're basically making more. Yeah, if you, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Say so you've yeah, got a house you, here, yeah. and then you've got tenants in there. You're and you're in Nigeria. You're laughing. Do you know what though? Nigeria just gets too much. Like for me, after three weeks, I'm like, that's why you go to na- that's why you go to neighboring countries. So I was, like, yeah, we went this to is Ghana, my fr- we came first back, time. Like, stuff like that. I'm going to be going to Ghana for the first time. Really? Yeah. I went there for the first time last year as well. I'm going was, for the first time this year. It's more. It's not as chaotic. Yeah, it's a bit as, calmer. Yeah, but I don't know if I like it. 
Oh, like that? Why? Well, I too think calm. the Nigerian in me is very mm. hot. You like chaos? Yeah, you I like am so chaotic. I love it. Like <laughs> if the, something when is things not... are making sense, it's like this is too good to be no, true. No, serious for real. My friends are worried, but it's like what's the truth? I need, I need. You need that girl, girl. I need One, ginger. One girl was saying on our own podcast. Shout out to yes sir, yes sir. She said because she's Nigerian, like obviously when you're at home as a Nigerian, yeah, I've, I don't know if you guys have seen that clip when your parents are coming into the house, like you just sort of need to act busy. Do, yeah. You can't, mm, you can't yeah. just be lackluster. Yeah. You can't be like, oh, yeah, you yeah, hide. Yeah. She said now that she's idle. living by herself. I like sometimes when she's I do, like it's just like she's uh, not a voice? panic attack, but it's just like something mm-hmm. like, oh, I need to be doing something. Like, no, just relax like mm. you're living by yourself you don't have to no one's gonna shout on you no I'll one's find gonna do anything to, to you like relax I'll find something to oh, clean no. yeah, I'll find Nigerian. something to do I will take the clothes out of my wardrobe and put <laughs> just I need to be active I, I don't know if it's like what's that thing called ADHD it's I not ADHD. That's, it's I think that's like, what a I've lot got. of Nigerians. It's just that, a like, I, I have to be. Though. Yeah, no, it is. A lot of <laughs> Nigerians. Have it. I always have to be on the go. Like I would diagnosed. sleep. I would chill. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> I need to go get it checked. I have to be on the go. Like, to be doing I can't be sitting down right now. Even how we're sitting before she got here, I was like, how long is she gonna be? Like, yeah. when is this over? Like. I yeah, need, need to be doing something. I need to be doing Shire, something. Because she's like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, no, I need to do something. I just can't. Standing still Damn. is not an option. Yeah, I can sleep. I can chill. I'll watch a show. Oh, but I love, I love to sleep. Yeah. I love to sleep. Bro. Sleep, is the, sleep is the best, <laughs> man. Sleep so is. One of the Good best. Uh, what, what, what was summer for you guys? I wasn't here. Ooh, Where yeah, you? you spent summer in Nigeria. Yeah. I was gone from like What is it that you do that you're up and down? <laughs> Yeah. I'm Nigerian. We do everything. Yeah. <laughs> we do everything. Any we don't call word yet. One way doesn't. You can't Can you speak that for one Very very well. Okay, cool. It was forbidden to speak English in my house growing up. Like oh, forbidden. In the UK, I actually didn't grow up in the UK. I Did grew up not? in Ireland. So oh, my okay. experience is completely different to your experience because mm. we grew up around white people mainly. Me too. I did. No, like, there was... I can count how many people was in my school. I was the only black girl in my entire year. What about in your, like, like area? There was, like, my... What my, area did you grow up in? Wigan. Huh? Near Manchester. It's on the outskirts Oh, of yeah, 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 yeah. It's but what about your area, like, where you lived? But we were the only black people in okay, my area. Okay, okay. Like, and it any was, other black people, we all knew each other, like, a little community. That was how... It was even to the extent where outside of my area... All the black people there, we used to just... We all knew each other. We yeah. had to. Mm-hmm. So that's why I didn't... We didn't really face much of accepting who you are because we were always amongst each other. So it was like, you're either Congolese or you're either Nigerian. Mm. So it Did was... Did you guys mix, though? We got along pretty well, to be fair. Yeah. But, yeah, actually, more times, nine times out of ten, we got along. So, But it was literally just Nigerians and Congolese. I didn't grow up with any other race. So coming here, and I was seeing, like... You see everything in London. I've seen these Asians, all of these other like African people. I was like, the first time that I met a Cameroonian. Like mm. I just know that I know Cameroonians exist, like, I'm, but like meeting somebody that actually I'm from Cameroon, like a Cameroonian person. Yeah. London is actually That's the first. Time. Coming to the UK was like the first time I ever like not heard of, but seen actual so much Jamaicans. I think we had one Jamaican girl in our whole black community. Right. So I came to the UK and I'm seeing, I said, where are you guys from? Jamaica. I said, oh, you guys are black. <laughs> like, for real. No, for real. Like, but Jamaica is, is Jamaica is. I felt like in Ireland we're in such a box. But obviously where now Ireland it's different. Um, Kildare. Well, right next to Dublin. It was Dublin, Kildare, same thing, to be fair. Is it in the, is it in the countryside? I wouldn't say we lived in the countryside. We were quite, um, you see how, how can I explain it? See how Stratford is like, if you go to like two stops or three stops, you're kind of in Essex. Yeah. It was like that. So we were like, like the Essex. Yeah. So we okay. were like the Ilford and Stratford was like the Dublin, if okay. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it Great. wasn't really like we were miles out away from anyone, mm-hmm. but it was just, very very small but now there's a huge huge difference huge huge difference yeah we were talking about summer um how was your summer my summer was very good 
Mm. I've, except for that Bonner Boy thing that we did that flopped apart from that. Bonner Boy? My, yeah, we were meant to Did you have a concert this year? Yeah. Stay in the stadium. <laughs> Jesus. You're oh, not really? a fan, are you? <laughs> in the stadium. Oh, even had another one afterwards. I like his songs, but I'm not a fan. I'm so a big who's fan. your favourite alphabet? Really? Yeah. I'm a big fan too. Really? Oh. Yeah. Who's your favourite yeah. alphabet? Um, so I'm stuck between two at the moment. Whiskey and Ashake. Mine's Young John. Oh, yeah, love no. You, Listen, Young John is. Love you, baby. When you Long see you. this, it's different. I just, I love Young it's John. It's just different. He's going to pull for my wedding. Amen. If I don't marry him. Amen. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to compete with. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I was going to say, I'm going to compete with. Nah, Nicholas, Young John. Nicholas is... Living, I'm coming for your man. <laughs> Nah, yeah, but have you ever is, seen him in person though? One. No, he's never been to the UK. He's, that's what I was thinking. Young John, he's I never done one. I you knew in the UK. Like this guy. Are you sure? Yeah, I've never seen. Like I don't think he's. He's never been I've, to the UK. He was supposed to do one last year or something, and it got cancelled due to mm. something about the venue or whatever. Because I did see you. the flyers, and me and my friend was like, "Oh my god, he's coming! He's coming!" And then, but let me tell you, Young John's been to every state in this in America. What? Why? And people actually, people actually like him in the UK. Like he has been to every state in America. People, Can like you? People don't like him in the UK. <laughs> yeah, people love him in the UK. Yeah. Like, we love, love like you've got big yeah. fans. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Young John. one day. I'm, I'm sure he will definitely have something for 20, maybe 2025 20, later. I'm praying I'm going to see him in December. In Nigeria, yeah, you would definitely, everything, would, every, everything, no, I don't want to guys. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do show every day. I don't want to do concerts. Really, uh, David does concert last year showed me shiggy. I'm not doing concerts yeah, in you're Nigeria. Not ready for oh no, concerts in Nigeria is you have to be mentally. And charged. it was on a beach. <laughs> you have to be yeah, <laughs> mentally. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. You have to have the black man blood in you. Nah, I can't remember when. Just I'm... prepare yourself for going out yeah, like, like just... from 12 a.m. May it wasn't even that. It was the traffic before you even got to the yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Davido now came out at 2 a.m. Oh, at least it's you just did. Now. You're not he did murder day. whiskey. Whiskey came out like three. I'm so before. sorry. When a boy has come out, he called till like four a.m. Yeah, before. that's and what that's he did. When, and when, he's, when he sang, he was singing, and people were already going home because no, going but it is and true. He dropped the mic. It is a bit crazy. It's disrespectful. He dropped the mic and said he's not performing again. That he's performing. People are going home. Yeah, <laughs> what do you expect? But why would you expect that? Like, it's not a safe place to even be out that late. Do you get what I mean? And you're coming out that late. That's you're not considering. You know what they like, say? Lagos doesn't sleep. Lagos doesn't sleep, especially in December. I still, I still stand on it. The best place to be in December is Lagos. Facts. Anywhere. Out of every African Out country? Of, no, yeah. anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the agree. world. Lagos. I would agree. The best place guys, to be is Lagos. Guys, let's just all calm down though, because last year was crazy. It was crazy. Everybody go. was in Lagos last year. <laughs> yeah. Not, Everybody I did, And I didn't, it was the only no. year I did not go. Oh my gosh. It was too much. Really? Guys, can we all just calm down? Some of you should not go this December. Everybody has bought their some tickets of, No, like, Some of you don't deserve to go. Like, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> please. <laughs> You know, you want to run away from you people yeah, here. I was you go back. To, I was sat in Jersey for that? two, three hours. It's going to get worse. Stance. No one like, you did not oh, It's anywhere. even going to be worse now <laughs> due to the the whole, um, what's that beach called? Landmark and Landmark. all that. Not there yeah, anymore. Not there anymore. <gasps> yeah, it's going, it's going to, to be, be worse. Peak. Yeah, this year, there's even more people going this year because of the hype from last year. Yeah, there's not more. knowing that now everything has to move to a different location. Yeah. And the other locations are not as big as Landmark, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because Landmark, there's like, Landmark there's bare different big. places yeah. to go. The only thing at Landmark now, I think, is only like, like why I mean, not Landmark, do but that though? That Landmark is, is like Obi's their moneymaker. Hmm? Landmark is one of their money makers. It's not going to be a road. It's government's land now. It's but not going to be a road. That one is even another this year. How was your summer? Bali. My summer, I traveled. Um, Where'd you go? I went to Bali, Montenegro, Ooh. Ooh. Poland. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was not feeling the UK. He was looking for Young John. He was going <laughs> <laughs> like, Young John, I was trying to find him. <laughs> no way. How was Bali? Uh, Bali is beautiful. Yeah. The one thing I did wrong was I wish I like gone to different islands. I just okay. stayed on one. Um, but so the next time I'm definitely going to try different islands, island hopping. Um, mm -hmm. But Bali's beautiful. Um, quite pricey though. So yeah, nice. did you go with a guy? No, I went on a girl's trip, please. Oh, girl's trip, okay. <laughs> I, I do, people always say like Bali's like lit. No, I've been really. seeing a lot of girl's trip. Girl's Bali, trip is so. lit in Bali. We don't need you guys anymore. You guys just be thinking. I wouldn't, go, in, I wouldn't go to Bali with guys though. Bali's yeah no you it's more for girls girl, yeah okay. it's more like why do? you'd why go with your girls? you'd go with your partner or you'd go with a girl's trip I wouldn't really hear of man them going to but you know um, what there were quite a lot of black men there like black group, together, group of guys yeah oh wow mm -hmm. 
I don't really hear it, but obviously, I mean, it's anywhere. You can go anywhere. Yeah, no true. one's stopping you. I mean, yeah. But um, I wish I went to more concerts this summer. Oh, okay. I didn't, though. I only but you went, went to around. Burnable. No, but I mean, I wasn't away all the time. Like, the trips were probably like... You know, how many days, like... I was in Bali for over which, a week. How many good ones were were there? Concerts were there even in was it the cons- summer. I did, like, the Bonner Boy one. Which one else? Or oh, the Modi had one. I sh- um, was it Rema? But I, I'm not a fan of Rema. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Why a is concert. everyone saying this now? I it's not. Like, it wasn't a concert. Though. It was like just. It like wasn't a, a concert. Like a, it was like a like, a, like the block party that yeah. Shakira did. Yeah, yeah Rema didn't do a big concert where he was where? showing the demonic thing on the screen. Are you guys drunk? At the O2, at the O2. Are you guys he had wrong? O2. Yes, he did. You guys Rema are drunk. O2. That this he was year. doing the But I thought it was TV. just before summer. Was it in... Ger- I thought it was in summer. It was in summer. No. It was in summer that everybody was talking about it on TikTok. I saw the demonic stuff. People hypnotised and stuff. You guys are dreaming. Is that why you don't like Rema? Yeah, I don't. Did you like him before, like when he first came out? Yeah, when he first came out. Yeah. And then when he did that upside, ch- upside yeah, down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, only, the last time Rema did any show in the UK was 2023. It was like an album release. He didn't do that one was in concert. UK. He didn't do a concert. The know, concert was the O. No, I think what you concert then. It was the OT. Yeah, that, that was, was last in year. 2023. Though, the last really? time. Yeah. It just felt like I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time is not. It's real because remember. it's because his new thing is still kind of demonic. If that makes sense. Yeah. It, it's yeah. Not coming off it. I like Rema though. I like the new album. And I, really? Rema has a lot of classics though that would be timeless. What do you like about the new album? Like, what do you like about Ozeba? Ozeba is that's good. Where, is that? where you change people are going to Lagos in December. You see what well, no, the be thing playing. is, no, you know the thing is, yeah. <laughs> that's why you'll be hearing every time. Yeah, in a lit mood, like I don't yeah. mind being outside and like the DJ is playing that I will yeah. vibe to it but I wouldn't but personally that's say for, that though. I like the album no, no but that's what, he's for, that's what he said that's it's what he's just trying noisy. to say it's just rock like you don't just that's sit, sit down in your ears. house and be listening to rock it's when you're outside and just like vibing mm. that's what he was trying to that's not rock music uh, guys, he said that's what he was trying to do guys, he flopped if it's, that's rock rock music you know what rock music is that's what he was trying to portray that, anyway, like guys, the energy guys <laughs> we've not spoken about anything Nigeria Independence Day how are we turning again I think it's 60, what, 64? I think it's 64 this it's year. It's not 65. 65. or 60, Nigerian. Is it not 66? This is very embarrassing. This has to get cut. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, is it not 66? We're trying to learn. So, well, we got independence in 1961. Is I thought it? 65. Yeah, we got our independence in 1960. No, I'm saying like the year. Yeah, no, how did we turn in? Yeah, we're going for the period in 1960. So, 20... <laughs> No, no, you could have just Google. I have the Google. post on my face. Do you know how many Nigerian Independence Day party? So that's mine. was 1960. Oh, okay. So it was 64. Yeah, I was correct. Oh, 64. I thought it was 65. I yeah, 64. So oh, yeah, yeah, Nigeria is 64. I mean, we actually, we spoke about our identity as being Nigerians. Yeah. yeah. But within that in 60, that, I'm not being rude or what, like... What have we got to show for that's, independence? That was my question. Gaining our freedom for 64... Like, we've, we've For 64 back. years, and now we've gone There's down regression. the drain. But what, we can what, say, but what we can say that we have is we have, like, human... Like, the, the because of the conditions that Nigeria... The people, the politicians in Nigeria has created, like, just, like... Mm-hmm bad government just using all the resources for their own personal use we've been able to create like the best kind of people humans being resourceful like going out like just thriving in being other resourceful? spaces what is that what are we what, where's the resources going exactly it's the police poli- where well, Nigeria the doesn't have anything anymore like in the, the last people? 10 years we don't have anything yeah. anymore like people, like when it comes to like resources, Nigeria, we, don't we don't even have, have the anything. people because no one wants to live there anymore. Mm. Yeah, but, but I'm saying we've created the people that are now like good ambassadors, although they are like making yeah, impact outside. To outside of, exactly but, outside of Nigeria. That's this is so what our question was. No what longer, do we so, have in Nigeria exactly. to show for? So why are we Twitter celebrating NG. independence? <laughs> I'm, I'm not lying. To you. Twitter, Twitter NG is the best, one of the best places that you can be. If you're there, you just, you just be happy. I beg you, that's not what we're talking about. No, I'm just saying, that's what we have though. What have to show for gaining freedom six or four years ago? We don't have anything. What have we got to show for it? That's right. No light, no good road, healthcare, shambles. They all know, everyone know that though. Safety, shambles, everything disgustingly bad. Tinobu, what are you doing? The roads are not that bad. Please don't name for it's not the roads are not it. that bad no, that's horrible, compared to what? No, though? they're better now. Um, they're better now. Yeah, that's what I said. The roads but are not let, that bad. Let's, when, another thing that people always say is Nigerians in diaspora. When they're talking about Nigeria, we always think about only Lagos. So exactly. when you say roads, no, are, exactly. I'm not even from Lagos. Have you been to Abeokuta? I'm not from Lagos. I'm from Ibadan. I always go to Ibadan. But yeah, Ibadan. The roads are not Ibadan that bad. Ibadan has a good governor. 
Ibadan has a very Shay Makin there. Yeah, that's he Ibadan has a not, very I thought we're not name calling. Why are you calling Shay? No, but he's he's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to go and coach Agaba? No, but I'm just you talking about Lagos. I'm just I'm, I'm that's why I said Nigeria's oh, yeah, not that thing, bad because the good thing that I about know the do, roads in IB used to the, be the the thing I sent in the group like when you get to Nigeria like in the, like in Britain you just scan your Nigerian passport you don't have to go through. Yeah, oh my God! Yeah. I didn't know when I was coming back. Oh, I was so excited. Guys, quickly, and then I still accepting expired passports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, like for real, Speak I was them. when I was checked like going back to the UK, and they just told me, ah, sky up. I said, eh, who Nigeria? She's I, 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 I can't even lie, yeah. When that I went sad, the fact like, that we don't have to pay for trolley alone. They yeah, stop. Yeah, they, stop. they stop. They stop. They stop. They stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, pay for trolley progress. no more. You don't pay for trolley. And because the new airport, airport the new airport is beautiful. I can't. Yeah, lie. the new airport is nice. Well. It's the same yeah. airport, but it's refurbished. Yeah, it's just refurbished. No, no, no. It's not the same. There's a different The old one is still there. Yeah. Okay, but they've just opened like another part. Yeah. So, but not all airlines fly from there. But I've I haven't been to the old one since God knows how long because I I purposely try not to take any flights that's on the old airport. It's not functioning you, anymore. No, it's functioning. still there now. So that means those ones are it's still more collecting for, like, money for trolley. Flight. They're still probably... <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but the new one that me and I went to, a trolley yeah, was free. Yeah, trolley was free. Like, nice only if you want to come and tip them to be pushing a trolley for you and stuff. Oh, that's, that's, nice. that, exactly. that's good. That's progress. Do you know trolley? Some people have used that trolley money to build house. In I Nigeria. swear. That trolley I is swear. like their life depends on it. But guys, one, do, go, go on. on. Go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you guys think about like workers in Nigeria especially like you know like the immigration people and stuff like that Jesus everyone's got poverty Christ. mentality <sighs> fight the pover- like but the <laughs> thing is I don't even want to blame them but then I have to blame you as well because are you not embarrassed <sighs> Are you not embarrassed? Like sometimes I'm just like you know I've been sitting in a six hours plus flight or whatever, mm. and you really want to come here and stress my life. Hey, it's anything for the boys. I don't even mind all of that. Anything for the boys is. <laughs> what did you bring the, me, Sissy? Me. Mm. The fo- one of the funniest So where are you is, going? Is it? Ah, I love that. Where, yeah, it's, where, it's where, like where, the where. tone of voice. You know, I know you're asking genuine questions, whereas they might even ask you the same thing when you come to the UK. But the way they ask, oh, did you have a lovely holiday? You don't even want me to smile when I'm in... No, like, it's this one. Bro. It's this one that's funny. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah, nee. it's which one is this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> is it? Is it? Ah, if I, if I don't where, write. Where are you from? <laughs> Everything is cope to oh, collect. How money. long are you spending with us this time? I'm like, like you don't need to know none of that. Like, hey guys, you mm-hmm. know we have to. We have yeah. to round it up. Honestly, What's your song of the summer? Did I have a song stronger? I love you, then. But that one didn't come in at the start. Like. No, it's a summer song for me. That's not really a summer song. That's it's a, a very sad song. song. <laughs> I said it's a summer song. <laughs> Young John, you gave song. us a song um, of the summer. There was no. I can't forget. Then it's not the song for you. Then if you don't no. even know it, guys, been a lot. Last night is um, saying our. That's is not my name. Shwala, nay, is saying our own. <laughs> our own <laughs> man is Shwala Bam. Nay, go still beat you on this episode. You're, this you're shifting the camera. Oh you damn! Should, yeah. Sorry. So Shwala Bam remix Bonner Boy and what's the name of those um, South African people? Yeah, I man. know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Shalabam remix. That's my. Song Did you know Shalabam is about someone, someone being a drunkard? Well, it's just it's a vibe. Yeah, it's something like that. Song. My I summer song. Mm-hmm. I just remembered. What is it? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know how I forgot that. It was either active or Fuji vibes. Mm, I, love, I overplayed it in Nigeria. I like, Fuji vibes. Did but they don't really like it there. When I was playing Fuji, Fuji vibes, Fuji vibes. When I was playing it a lot in Nice, they were all like, you know, yeah, like. Do you know Not why? that they will tell me skip it, but and I'm just like, ah, you don't understand when you come to the UK. That's what yeah, do you that's know why our Fuji own vibe video. is actually Asha is a, is, a, is a very old yeah song old from one Asha from Asha yeah. Pair. So they I think they've Niger. rinsed it out yeah. yeah. And I'm it's like, just, it's just the it's UK new to our own ears though. Mm. Nah. yeah, it's a very old song, but mm-hmm. it just yeah. Because I saw the reaction at the block party when Fuji vibes came on, but then when I went out in Nigeria and Fuji vibes came on, it wasn't really given as much. And I saw his reaction when he looked down, and everyone was like screaming, and he's probably thinking. Raw, like. Mm, mm-hmm. So are you going? To she said Asha no. Kate, tomorrow. No, mm. I oh, wasn't able going. to secure okay. ticket. But if anyone's asked to ticket for me, <laughs> it's not I have extortionate then. prices. <laughs> They're crazy. I'm That'd not doing that. We'll f- I'm sorry, why am we'll I doing f- that? We'll find a way. <laughs> then there's a way, there's a way by Nigerians. I'll be there tomorrow. Sorry, I'll, 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 I'll be there. <laughs> and we'll, we'll say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming oh, out yeah. it's coming after. I'm just letting them it know. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, guys, matter. Um, guys, yeah, I don't, I'm not wearing merch today. But T-R-C-K-X-T-S. Yeah. Don't forget, if you're hosting, I know, yeah, if you're hosting, 
if you're planning to host an event, the platform you want to get sell your tickets on is tickets. Within and Alice, ads. why should they sell their ticket on tickets, please? You should be on tickets because for your buyers, if they're not able to pay in one go, you can pay with Klarna. They can buy tickets with Klarna. They can buy an install installment. And another thing is for you guys, you can get an early payout. So any um, if you have your event on the platform, you can get your money out to pay for the things that you need to do. And also, I know people like marketing and um, selling merch. You can also sell your merch on there. You can do some marketing on there. You can get analytics on there as well for how well you sold your tickets, where you sold your tickets. Um, but tickets is where you need to be if you're an event company. And yeah, tell them Lagos Meets London sent you. And make sure you use our referral code, LML. 100. LML 100. Yeah. Um, um, Nate, thank you very much. Yeah, um, Nate is our, new, is our new host, and we're very happy. I like your vibe. Thanks for having me. I like your vibe. I like your Nigerian vibe. Nigerian. I just do like your vibe. vibe. I like your vibe. <laughs> yeah, man. Gang, gang, gang. So, yeah, guys. make sure you get used to her face because you're going to be seeing her around. Yeah, it's like a but, and, guys, yeah. don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love the energy you guys are giving us. Um, we want to see you everywhere on our social media platforms. We're on TikTok, we are on Instagram, we're on Snapchat, we are everywhere. And our streaming platforms, YouTube, <coughs> audio platforms as well. Um, we are on um, Apple Podcasts. Somebody help me here. My mother. Spotify, Spotify, <laughs> Spotify, <laughs> and Jalof Media I'm Radio. Sick. For those people in Nigeria. <laughs> but you're always you talking, you like talk. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was waiting. I was like, what is she going to break? She's on the roof. Guys, I'll thank you once again, man. Love, love, love. And, and guys, the new item or the old item? The new, the new one. Dude, no, the yeah, old one. The old one. I don't know the new one. The old one. Is this the new one? Uh, Arise, oh, come, come back. I'm just going to be fine. Oh, yeah, just yeah, drum yeah, for yeah. us. Nigerians call Obey, Obey, Obey to serve <laughs> our I've never known it. 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 I I I share your prayers and stuff, but, but prayer. like I yeah, we're tired of Nigeria praying. needs more than prayers. Yeah, I swear, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, so yeah, when we end the episodes, we say Lagos meets London, and yeah, everyone echoes Wahala. Yeah, Lagos meets London. Yeah, Lagos and meets London, says, and everyone wahala. echoes Wahala. Okay. Yeah. Because you're new, do you want to do Wahala or Lagos meets London? Lagos meets London. You want to do Lagos meets London? You're too yeah. you're too tush to do Wahala. Too bougie for that. Too bougie for that. <laughs> Alice, do you think we should change that though? Do you think no, we I should love leave the it? Yeah, like I love it. it. So right. I just say Lagos meets London. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. You just, just say, and don't forget that this is Lagos meets London. Is, and we'll yeah. say, this is where Lagos meets London. And we'll okay. say Wahala. Oh, yeah. And this is where Lagos meets London. Wahala. Wahala.